let's learn how to sync up audio using a remote device like an iPhone in iMovie. Okay, so here we are. We uh, are doing some recording. I'm just recording video with you, and I'm actually using this microphone here, which is a high-quality and good-sounding microphone. But when you're out doing regular recording, you're using a normal mic from the camera, and that microphone isn't very good. So the microphone on this camera, for example, is a pretty bad microphone. And so to improve audio quality, you want to use the microphone on this device, which is a good quality one. And in fact, you're probably going to want to use, hold on a second, some sort of a pole that you're going to use to attach uh, your phone to that pole, and then you're going to hang that phone over in front of the person that is speaking. But you're going to put it above their head, so of course you can't see it, because that would be kind of weird. Now, let's talk about how to do that. Uh, you want to, what you're going to have to do is take the audio from here and sync it up with the audio in the camera right here. And to do that, you're going to use a trick, and you're going to use a trick called a clap. I think everybody knows how to clap, right? So the way you do it is you open up your uh, phone or your device here, and you go to Voice Memo. That's usually a good app. You might be a different app that you use if you have a Samsung or Android device. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn that on by hitting record here. And you can see how I have record going here. And I'm also recording from this microphone here. So I'm going to put this microphone a little bit further away so you can hear the difference. And then to sync it up to make it easier to sync, I'm going to do a clap. So one, two, three, clap. And then it's going to be easier to sync up on the actual iMovie files. So I'm going to show you how that works in just a moment. So we'll be yeah, back. I was talking about. So I'm going to find where that syncing is in my audio here. And because it's a clap, it'll show a spike. And you can see that spike, it usually looks something like a, it, this looks higher than the others. You can see some other things in the sound here that are higher than the others. So you'll just have to listen and check it out. Uh, by the way, you can use this over here to make things a little bit wider or skinnier if, as you see, or as, you, as it helps you. So I know it's probably down here, so let's hit this button. Okay, I just heard the clap there. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that. Now, if you want to mark it, you can uh, hit the letter M on your keyboard. So I'm just going to hit the letter M right now, and that's a marker right there. And I'm going to spread this out here and make sure I got it. So you can see I need to move it a little bit more to right about there or so. Uh, actually, a little bit. Let's see, right there. It seems to be, yeah, it's, I'm going to move that just a little more left. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now I need to find that same clap in the audio that I want to use because what I want to do is delete this audio here and replace it with this audio here. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and see if I can find that clap there. So I think it's probably going to be about right here. There it is. So I can see the claps right there. And I'll go ahead and hit the letter M on that as well. Now I just want to sync up the two letter M's. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to find the two M's here and line them up. And that will be where the claps are. And it looks like they're lined up there. And I'll pull this audio down and then this audio will be used instead. And this should sync up then with my speaking here. So let's see, when it goes up to the clap, it should clap at the same time. One. And it looks like I'm a little bit late, so you have to move it back and forth to make sure you line it up right. And you can do that to double check here. So you can see, I see my clap is there, but my clap on my other audio is here. So I'm going to move that a little bit more to the right there. And that, that seemed to line up. So now I have audio that I've used or recorded from here, and then I synced it up so that it matches the audio here in my video. And that way your sound quality is awesome. Okay, hope that helps. Bye.